Hey there, it's Brittany. I am back with an unboxing video of the October Magical Mystery Bead Box. So yes, it is almost the middle of November and I just got my Magical Mystery Bead Box today. Part of that is they did ship it late. They usually, they say they ship them by the 15th. They didn't ship it until October 22nd. And then it sat in the Pennsylvania um, distribution hub for two and a half weeks. So <laughs> there was no tracking information for two and a half weeks and then all of a sudden it showed up today and I was, I contacted them. They didn't really have a, a solution so I just kind of waited it out. All right, so it says Mystery Ink, Magical Mystery Bee Box, October 20th, 2020. Um, Zoinks, Zoinks, <laughs> Bead Strand, Design Elements, Bead Mix in Fred, um, bead mix in Daphne, bead mix in Velma, uh, bead mix in Scooby-Doo and Shaggy. Let's split up and search for clues, color changing beads. Wow, they really committed to this. Um, custom, custom shell trio and mystery machine. Scooby-Doo, where are you? Cabochon link set. Um, those meddling kids tassel mix. Scooby snacks mini clasp mix pumpkin bead trio and chain reaction so it's they make it seem like there's quite a bit in here so let's see what what happens um i did like scooby-doo when i was a kid i'm not a huge fan or anything i think my friend laura likes it quite a bit but we'll see we'll see what's going on <laughs> um so let's see um this one's custom shell trio in mystery machine so this must be it um, I'll, of course, open it up. Um, I just feel like it's a lot of packaging for for five beads. I feel that's kind of wasteful. Um, but these are um, custom shell beads. I'll try and get it without the glare. It's just a van, um, a Scooby-Doo van. I, I don't, maybe they're doing this because of Halloween. And I guess I don't know. I don't know. I, I these are very cartoony. I don't know what I'll actually use these for. I mean, it's cute, but I can't imagine using them. These are kind of cute. They've got um, fuzz on them and like bright orange dots and turquoise. I like that. Those are neat. I just you guys know love hate relationship with these bead boxes. Um, We'll see. We'll see. I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying to be positive. Go into it with a positive mindset, right? Um, then we have Scooby Doo, Where Are You? Cabochon Link Set. Again, I just think it's a lot. I guess they might be sent, selling these separately later, but I just feel like it's a lot of package, unnecessary packaging. Um, okay. Scooby and Shaggy. I just, I cannot picture using these for anything. I just don't know. I don't know. I mean, they're cute, but I would not buy this ever, ever. Oh, there is no circumstance under which I would buy these. I can just picture it. Like, even if I saw it like in Hobby Lobby or something, I would not. Oh, no, there's no way. Okay. Um pumpkin bead trio I have these and not this big one that big one's pretty cool these will just get added to my Halloween stash they're very cute perfect for earrings this one's pretty awesome it'd be good a very good pendant very nice those are probably highlight or magnesite one of the two um, here's the zoinks bead strand so very reminiscent of their colors, the purple, the green, blue, yellow, or purple, green, orange, and white, and the turquoise. It's very cute. I like the color palette. I do like the color palette. This is a very cute strand, and I really like the psychedelic dots on the white beads. So I'll probably make, break this up, put the, oh, see this bead's a little messed up. That's disappointing. Um, put these in my boho bead box that I do like um, next is a bead mix the shaggy and scooby again I think you've, you've you've once you've kind of seen one of these boxes you've seen it all seen them all in 
um, regard, regarding the check glass beads they just put the same beads in every month but in different colors um, I do like these tiger stripe hearts you guys know I like hearts um, we have a couple crystals those are nice um, I think these are glass pearls uh, these are kind of cool they're kind of metallic drop crystals those are neat. Um, it looks like we have coated, coated glass beads. You can tell they're coated because if you look at the hole here, whoop, if you look at the hole here, it's like got the paint sticking out of it. So I would have to jam something through there to get all the paint out. Um, some pretty cool diamond looking ones a couple few bait caps these are neat um, bead frames those are neat and some rondelles in green some pale blue drucks these are nice and then um, I've seen this shape in several of the boxes um, as far as this screaming Jesse James beads, I don't think so. I don't think it screams Scooby-Doo either. It's just a, it's a neat color mix. I will give you that, but um, nothing really special. Um, next we have Velma. pretty neat I do oops, sorry always with the camera my bad all right so I do like these right away these are yummy I don't think I have I have some um, check beads in this shape but I haven't seen them in this size these are either 8 or 10 millimeter maybe 9 millimeter I like the color I really like the shape of these these are pretty neat I do like those I think it's weird Does it five or six no there's six okay I really like those those will probably go in my check glass um, bucket um, I like these I actually really like these Velma this Velma one's a little bit better than the last one I like cr uh, crackle glass beads I like that these are two-tone they're very fun they're very deserty like sunset middle of the summer heat color I like that a um, couple plastic flocked beads a few um, crystals these are kind of lower quality crystals though um, and you can tell because there's like that outline I don't know if you can tell in the video actually but it's not a hundred percent like red there's a weird um, almost it's like when you give blood and or you you know you see blood and plasma kind of separates that's what these kind of look like I don't know if you can tell that on camera but they're not red all the way through there's like a little bit of a yellow cast around the outside that that could just be the way they wanted the beads I, I don't know it kind of does go with these but I don't it's not my favorite it's not my favorite style um, these are really pretty purple and like brown and orange I've got a couple um, I don't know these are just like matte rubber coated beads the problem with these beads is um, a lot they can become gummy um, I've had several like this that become gummy and you can actually see on here there's a lot of lint on these already I'm not gonna be able to use these they're really pretty um, but they're gonna go in the garbage sorry <laughs> um, a really cute um, bobble ball with some cute like peachy orange crystals inside a um, couple uh, lamp work drops I love this color it's like a cranberry um, we've got two different types of bead caps I like these I think I have some of these and then here are the other oh, bye <laughs> here are the other style I like those um, some crystal, tiny crystal, I don't know what this shape is called. They're just, they're teardrops, but they're faceted in a weird way. I like those. They're black. Ooh, these little check press glass beads. Those are cute. I like the Velma mix much better than I like the, the other mix. And it's just, it seems more adult 
more sophisticated, I should say. These are really nice. They're like silver lined beads, very small. And then we have a couple copper, are these copper or antique brass? I think they're copper, antique copper spacer beads. Um, next is the chain reaction. Very pretty. I know I have this one. I'm not sure that I have this one. It's like a smoky chocolate uh, crystal. And this one is light blue. I know I've used this in past videos. Um, we have those meddling kids. Um, tassel mix. Uh, I, <laughs> I've, I have a tassel bin at the moment and I know all my tassels aren't in it yet and it's overflowing and I rarely use them. Although I am liking these new tassels that they've come out with, the ones on the triangle. I just need to kind of use them all up on some projects. So yeah, that'll be one of my upcoming challenges to use some, some tassels. And let's see here, we have um, color changing beads. Color changing beads are pretty expensive, so I'm surprised they included these. They called uh, Let's let's Split Up and Search for Clues Color Changing Beads. And I do like them. I think I only, I only have one other color changing bead and it was the one that Emma sent me with the mermaid on it, it was beautiful. These are really cool. So they're, I think they're mood, mood beads. So they change color with the heat of your hands or your arm or your neck, wherever you're wearing the jewelry. These are really pretty. These are kind of faceted. Although this one's got some issues with the, the coating. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's not, it's like chipping off. That's not good. Um, and then we have three of the larger 10 millimeter ones. They're pretty heavy. They must have like quite a coating on them. I think they're cool. They're very cool beads and they're kind of expensive. So I haven't bought any in the past. Um, we have a couple more things in here. We have two more mixes and then these toggles, Scooby Snacks. <laughs> That's cute. Snoopy, Scooby Snacks mini clasp mix. You guys know I love toggle clasps they're just so easy so it's like a toggle clasp assortment we've got um, an antique brass one that would look really good with tribal stuff I love those swirls um, we've got the rose you guys know I have a bunch of those um, and then we have a copper one it's got like a twist motif on it that's pretty cool um, and then this one is for a two strand either bracelet or necklace you just slide it out and slide it back in like that. I think I have some of these in my stash. Just haven't used them very much. So those are nice, always useful. Clasps are good. Can't make a lot of jewelry without clasps. Um, the next mix we have is Fred. Mainly blue, orange, and white. These are my company's colors, so I really like this mix. Um, we've got some bigger crystal rondelles and cobalt, love those. Um, some check glass and like a, just a blue. They're, those are really nice. Those would be really cute on a, a simple pair of earrings. Um, some bead caps. Oh, I didn't show you the right side of the bead cap. There's the top. Oh, it looks like a snowflake. Um, some more bead caps, some table cut glass in blue, some cute little rectangles, and when I say my company, I mean the one I work for. <laughs> um, our colors are these colors. These are really cool. It's just like swirl bead, like the, the rondelles have blue swirled into clear. I think that's really neat. We have some light blue or almost periwinkle crystal rondelles. Actually, 
I don't know if these qualify as crystal. Maybe. Might just be glass. And then um, some half AB barrels. These are pretty neat. These are crystals. Those are pretty neat. I like those. We've got some matte orange cubes. I like those. I like this mix. Pretty fun. These are pretty neat. Love that white pop in the middle of the coins. Um, this must have been left over from another. No, that couldn't have been left there. This this must have just make, made its way into this mix by accident. And then we have some miracle beads. I love miracle beads. I don't have near enough of them. So that was that mix. Okay, and then the last mix we have is the Daphne. And my best friend will love this one. She's all purple. A little bit of green, but mostly purple. Um, let's get this out of here. Okay. Let's see. So we have some gold um, bead caps. I don't have these bead caps. Although these are two different colors. <laughs> one's bright gold and one's like worn off already. So maybe these are kind of not the best quality but they're they're cute you can always paint them um some glass rondelles in green oh these are cute i don't have these they're pretty heavy too some metal roses again those rubber beads they're like you can they just feel tacky they're gonna pick up dirt not going to be usable after a little while. Um, some crystal cubes in purple. Those are pretty. Some more of these beads like <clears throat> was in the last mix. Again, I, I've said this before. They, they tend to use the same shapes over and over. Just use different colors. And that's fine unless you get the same color over and over again. These are neat. I really like these. These are like little pebbles, but they're, they have a beautiful luster on them. They're purple with a silver luster. Um, we have, oh, these two are stuck together. Yeah, those aren't coming apart. Nope, those aren't coming apart. So can't, mm, I guess I could, I guess I could make them a two, put them on something that has two hole or two strands. That'd be cute. Um, but this is what it's supposed to look like. It's table cut purple. And we have some smoky um, iridescent purple. Some lavender-ish mauve lamp work glass. Some matte glass drops, top drilled. Two baubles that have purple stars like purple pink stars in them and then some pink pur I'm sorry purple glass hearts they look clear but they're purple they have a purple tint to them and then some more purple beads with some luster on them I'm wondering if one of these is broken because there are some stars on the mat here but it could have been a different could have been a different ball and then we have these little beads, and I don't know what these are made out of. Interesting. Well, they actually put a lot of product in this box. Um, lately, they've they've been very skimpy boxes. So I will say that there were one, two, three, four bead mixes and a strand. So that's more than they usually put in. Um, I did like three out of the four mixes. And I did like elements of that first mix. I absolutely did not like the cabochons or the shell beads. They are too cartoony. Um, and I don't know, unless I have a super fan friend who really likes Scooby-Doo, I, I just don't know who I would, what I would use these for. I, I'm not a huge Scooby-Doo fan. I like it, it's okay, but um, I think it kind of missed the mark there. Um, I did like the pumpkin beads, the chain I'll use eventually, and um, the clasps I'll def definitely use. So overall, um, I think 
the amount of beads made up for the miss when it came to the cabs and the shell beads. Um, yeah, I think, I think I've said all there is to say. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. Please um, let me know what you think. I'll leave a link below to their, um, their page uh, so you can see the subscriptions. Um, and stay tuned. I'll give you a little video of Goldie. She's just chilling, just hanging out like she always does. Okay, guys. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Bye-bye.